Can we get ramen tea? Kitty wants to get us some, then sure. It does help, I think. I'll call her. How am I late? Chat, sometimes I just don't feel like streaming. I, I talked about it a bit last night. I'm a bit, uh, a bit depressed. Honestly, it's hard. Forget she, uh... What's up? She had to go somewhere, uh... not around. Okay. Don't, well, mods, don't freak out at him, but, um. What if I speed there and go get it? Yeah. Meet you at the spot. Yeah, go for it. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't think many people realize what it's like to be pulled left, right, and center and not have time for yourself ever. That's kind of why I enjoy Final Fantasy XIV. That's the little bit of me time I ever get. How's it going? Just arrived. Okay. I'm going to the first spot. See, 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 see. I need ramen and tea really quick. Thank you very much for the quick service. I gotta go. I'll catch you guys around. Have a good one. This car is so long. It doesn't turn bad, but it's just so long. But yeah, um, it's just hard between like the. Hope you've been good, miss. You less than three. It's hard. It's like um, gets to the point of the feeling where you're just doing nothing right. And then you just kind of get motivated to do anything at all. I'm coming. Okay. All right. I'm already at the first spot. Oh, wait. No, I shouldn't do that. That is powerful. Yeah, I did it again. I have like a bad habit of like seeing things and then clicking. Drink it. Hmm? Okay, put it there. It's just, uh. Well, a lot of people. Do you have a radio? I do. Second. 
Uh, 50.9. A lot of people don't think it's uh, think it's easy, but it's just stressful, man. Chris talked about it in depth. That's what I'm feeling. Whippy and everyone talked about it, and that's how I'm feeling. Because for me, I have to get on and grind and do all this stuff to uh, maintain not only my car but also a group. It's just stressful, as fuck. It's not even just stressful, it's just uh Lunar Feels like I think people would just rather me stream versus and uh, like Forcing myself to stream versus stream to actually come on and want to do stuff. No, I just, I really haven't had time for myself as a thing. My time for myself lately is sleeping. It's always talking to someone or trying to do someone else for something or something else for someone else and yeah. So I almost took a me day, but I didn't. I, I later I have to plan my pitting thing for the academy for PD and then I have to uh, get ready for that on the 24th. press live well yeah that's <laughs> huh i guess i guess um my perspective isn't gonna be seen on it but okay i think if you received half the emails and all the shit i received then yeah you'd understand why it's very troubling at times i'm just saying i don't think you received half the threats i get on a daily basis And it's not that simple also. That's everyone else's generosity. You're you're the best player in Los Santos. I really do. But it's not that simple. If you think I don't look at my numbers and everything else and fear that I don't have financial security, rather like with that stuff, like a lot of streamers do, I think you're very mistaken. It's weird how the shop works. scary one more to go mm -hmm. uh seven balls of oxy too you what seven bottles of oxy Uh, hey, Rafa, thank you for the 500 bitlies. I appreciate you. Uh, Duke, thank you for the six months. Welcome back to the Mooncakes. I appreciate you as well. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I, every time I see that NBC, I think burn. Ah, uh, we're good to go. Yep, and that's the uh, thing. You really don't have time to be depressed or sad with streaming. It's constantly put on that uh, unapproachable attitude. That's why some days uh, I just don't stream. I hope you understand it. 
And if you don't, I understand why you don't. It may seem easy on the outside, but it's not. <laughs> Boy, I don't want to hit you. Uh, there's a truck back here. One second, I have to like touch the spot out here. Because uh, I streamed because I like streaming and then it became a job that I enjoy very much. And I'm very thankful for that. But uh, I'd be lying if I said some things didn't get to me sometimes, you know? Because ultimately I don't want to stream when I'm not feeling in the mood to put on like the best performance possible. And be entertaining and be funny, you know? That's why I don't want to stream Final Fantasy either because uh, I fear it's not the poggers content, you know? Is someone back there? No, I'm just okay. being active. You could uh you can come up up there. I'm up on the vents if you want or something. Or decide. Spot sketches me out. Same. Oh, geez. I just want to pay Goofy his, uh, the amount I owe him. The 19,100. Man, I feel like you don't get much from cleaning oxy. This I'm not getting much. I'm getting unlucky, I think. Ay, ay, ay. No way. Another thing that fucks you're, me up is the like um, in Los Santos. When people wish like you to fail. Like why why is it like that? Why are you like that? That's so fucked. Like before I stopped reading all those emails, like the uh the one that got to me was just someone wishing me to fail. That that is fucked. I this is so messed up. Cause then you see every declining number and everything, and then you're like, oh well, <laughs> they're getting their wish. Is there someone? Huh? No, I'm just waiting for the thing, it's just not happening. I heard doors open. On your side or above you? They could be coming from the highway. Ooh, there's a big one. More than I got in that whole last run, nearly. Oh, oh, that's for me. Oh, damn. I'm gonna miss it. Maybe. Ooh. Close to what we uh, need to get Goofy. Surely we're getting there. I have time to smoke a joint.
Seems as though. Yeah, but... Chelsea could be a motivator. You don't have to wish spite upon someone just to feel as if you're doing anything. Just do something else with your time. We've cleaned hardly nothing. I'm trying to clean Goofy's uh, cash. We need to clean a lot more money, but I'm just going to clean the bare minimal today. Actually, well, I'm doing about three, four runs worth. Because the plan is, uh, plan Stan, <laughs> is, um, we are going to, uh, be getting our shotguns today. More shotguns for more problems, and more problems equals more, hopefully, financial situations or solutions, theoretically. Okay, I'm going up to the next car now. Okay, handoff successful. If uh, if you don't hear back from me after a handoff, then they might be holding me up. Maybe someone faking it. Okay, going to the last handoff now. I want to get on Claire soon. I might try to get on Claire instead of doing Final Fantasy. Ooh, okay, I made enough to pay you. Good set the number. And then go next. Okay, here's all of your cash. Uh, go to the airport, LSI. Okay. What is your, uh... 177. Okay, you're gonna want to deposit that when you can. As all yep. of your money cleaned. Nice. And then I have a lot. Oh, yeah, an Oxy. There's 15 bottles of Oxy for you in the glove box. And that is all of it that I got from. Yeah, that's all for you. I figured the first turn would be all yours because it's all your money, anyways. That's a little bit of uh, extra cash in your pocket. Yeah, I bought a AK today. I heard, so I might grab myself. Oh, well, you have a Mac. I won't bring a shotgun then. Then again. Huh? You said then again, and then what? Oh, I was gonna say, um, it would be pretty helpful if like two or three people sneak up on us, so we could just drop three of them. Then we get the fuck out of Dodge. Yeah, it might be worth the risk, honestly. Okay. We have white a pillow actually. Oh God. We have to get more uh, keyboards soon. You're, you're the best Claire in Los go. Santos. Yeah, my keyboard's gone. Bad. It's shocking. Hey, Santa, thank you so much for the 10 gifts. I appreciate you. Pineapple, thank you for the five gifted as well. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your generosity and everyone that got gifted emo. I hope you enjoy, or uh, a sub rather. I hope you enjoy your new emotes. There's a lot of them, and a lot of work went into them, and a lot of planning. I wasn't a cadet in 2.0, I was just a cop for a day. That's why they deserve to die. Well, let's hit a bunnies. Debo, thank you for the gifts of the Hunter Primal, I appreciate you. You're, you're the best Claire in Los Santos. I've been dispatcher. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been a, I've been doing dispatch for a bit on the server. Edge, thank you for the gifted uh, five gifted. I appreciate it so much to everyone. Hope you enjoy those emotes. Okay, I brought. Oh wait, let me uh. When we get near the next car we're taking, uh, let me know. 
Mm -hmm. I need to see if I have shock and ammo. What if I was sheriff for a day? I wouldn't do much of it. I'd probably just let people have fun for once. Well, not for once, but like just let people goof off and have fun. We'll run to the back of the bank real quick and... Actually, that'd be kind of fail roleplay. There's cameras and shit in there. I do have, okay. Yeah, I'm good. I have 45 shells for this. Or 50 total shots. Should be enough. Did that white gal have answer? Yeah, it should be. And I have my deagle with me, so, you know. Price of pistols went down too. Tony was telling me about it. Yep. It offered me to do a trade, and I said, uh, two pistols for a shock, and I wouldn't mind, honestly. Then I should be getting a call soon about that, so I need to get money ready for the order. Lock back up. Huh? I don't take you seriously. I feel like you're gonna become the Joker. so weird. That looks so weird for me. Holy shit. Did you uh, end up doing any bank practice? A little bit. Just the typing. More and more typing. What I'm doing is I'm just studying, um, old pictures that Chris had of the old Fleeka hack so I can like train my eyes to scan for answers quicker because thermite's easy for me because I have a simple way of doing it in my head so what I do is I look at the picture the whole thermite grid and then whatever part is the most um, unique and difficult to remember I tackle that very first, and then all the other parts I try to stare at the most and memorize. I'm gonna pass on your left here. Never mind, no, I'm not. Now I am. I know about the sim, but I don't know how I feel about like, um, I, I, I've heard that every good hacker OC practices for good reasons. I just don't know where I sit in the realm. Cause I, I feel like in RP, if you're introduced to the hack, then there you go. Right. Technically speaking, you to some degree would be able to replicate it and practice it. Right. So... To some matter. Oh, Dev. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, one second. Yeah, yeah, punch your guns, punch your guns. We gotta hold this guy up. Yeah, we gotta hold this guy up. Hold this guy up. Nah, no, step out, step us out. Let's get. Fuck you. Guys, I'm, what's up, up? I'm about to BDM your ass. Oh, oh wait. Oh wait. I actually. Are you knocked out or are you down? Oh my god, you're actually down. What? Yo, she's actually down. Wait, what happened? Yo, Wait, mate, down. are you good? <laughs> Yo, the AP run you over. I literally, I literally tapped her and she. <laughs> what? Oh, AP 420. Ran over. Yeah. AP VDM the man. <laughs> no, I literally, I didn't even, I moved forward maybe like an inch. And then. Oh my fucking god. I yeah, tapped her. Oh, Roxy's spot now, bitch. Get out of here. Go, go. <laughs> Wait, I can't even. Oh yeah, I can grab her. Move, move real quick. Rat, move. Okay. Um. Fuck, you were driving his penumbra too, huh? Rat. Right. Fuck. No, let me guess. You want me to take out the pillbox? Nice one, dude. Wait, what's up? Oh, you want me to take out the pillbox? Oh, grandma's. What's closer, grandma's or oh, I don't know. Grandma's? Mate, give me keys so I can take the grandma's. Why do you think I have fucking keys, dumbass? Because he's know. putting he's loading up the car. My fucking god, bro. You're so stupid, AP. But <laughs> were you like a fucking sliver away robot? from going down? No, I, I had full health and armor. <laughs> okay, there's no way that should have fucking downed you then. Wait, let me tell you. My God, you guys have to hinder and see. I'm doing everything. I'm planning. I'm doing everything, and then you hit me with the car. You literally, you should have seen it in my eyes. How are you a good driver? Handbrake. Just throw her in my car, and I'll take her. No, I mean, one of you has to take the fucking Panamas. Yeah, I'm taking the. You get that? I got the keys. No, I didn't. He got it. Get it? Nope. Everyone gets the fucking key. You got it, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I got him now. Alright, I'll, I'll see you at Grandma's. I swear. Shade, pick me up at Grandma's. So, May, how's your day been? I actually hate you, you guys. You driving the Oxy car. I actually hate you guys. That's not even my fault. What? You guys are around for five seconds, and you managed to down me. Oh, but all AP, <sighs> not me. I ain't even driving anything. God, bro. Yeah, AP, we're just trying to clean, man. Come on, Jesus. You guys are a headache, bro. <laughs> I'm charging you guys money. What the... Are you good? Yeah, your sirens made that local go crazy. Oh, well, sorry oh, no. about that. No problem. All right, take care. Have a good day. Drive safe. I'm joining Jay with a. Uh, I'm going to vacation with Jay. I can't. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We just started Oxy as well. <sighs> nope. Trying to clean money so I could buy my guns. Because I have to take an order soon. <sighs> <sighs> Fucking AP, man. Am I right? Jesus Christ. It's you guys! You're all together! <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm sitting in a seat with Jackson, chilling and talking about food and stuff. Alright. AP oh did God. that on his own. Oh my god. <laughs>
What happened? You were already stuck on the ground and the AP just finished no, you off. No, he fucking ran into me with the fucking truck. Oh my god, I'm in pain. I want AP here. I want to shoot him. What the? I want fuck? to shoot AP. No, no. No, AP. I'm in pain. I want to shoot him. I have to pose Luffy on the internet, and he's fucking me over. Much love, Luna. Uh, May is a May wants to shoot him. I think we're gonna have to set him up. Now that you tie him to the railroad tracks, I run him over. You gotta carry him in. Can you see? Short made time. I don't know. You fucking pathetic. How was it my fault? Don't even. AP ran me over. Literally after he said, I'm gonna BDM you. What? This motherfucker. We're setting him up. We're tying him to a railroad track and I'm running him over. Nice. In like a tractor or something. <laughs> Sam, squash him like a watermelon, huh? You did the same to me in a truck! Maybe you shouldn't do it with your brain, huh? No, it's fine. That was just, that was just me pressing the wrong thing. Oh no. Mine is I'm gonna die! <sighs> I'm gonna die! There we go. Alright, go get him. That is a big one. Uh, oh my uh, god. <laughs> Yo, say less. I got mine as well. Wanna drive the Penumbra or? No! I mean, you're the one doing oxy because you got that. Oh, I didn't yeah. Do shit. I was in a passenger seat. I gotta smoke weed and shit again. This fucking asshole. Yeah, because we were talking to random people. Oh, is it up in Plato? Or is it in Grapeseed? There's no way it's in Grapeseed. What the fuck is it? It's all the way back in the city. Hello? Yeah, I'm good now. Okay. All the way up in the fucking city, man. Oh. Yup. We're tying AP yeah, to the way, railroad track. Have you spoken to AP recently? No, why? What's up? Oh, he told me he he's thinking of joining another crew. Uh, specifically, Tony's crew. Was he offered or something, or...? Yeah, I think so, and he was like... He then told me, yeah, it'd probably be good to add some competition, all that stuff, but... Uh, I mean, I'm okay, you know, he does whatever he wants, it's still family. That's up to him. Not gonna control him. Yep. Oh, that sucks. Guy's dead. I just had to take out my anger, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good fucking riddance. Good shit. Kill them all. <laughs> it 
Is it truly about adding competition anymore though? Because I feel like the racing crew's idea didn't really take off. And racing is just yeah, racing that's again. that's my thoughts. I don't think there's really any... Uh... Crew thing, no. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot more than... than it takes that. one more than one or two crews. It's not a crew thing. At this point, anyone who races is a crew. Just when you think about it, it's the same like 10 people that race. Yep. There's no real variety yep. anymore. It's not a crew thing. That's really my thoughts on it. I thought it was cool at first when we, the idea was that we had multiple people racing and there'd be more than one race popping up every two, four hours, but that's not the reality. And races are down to five people a race, which is not fun at all. So even I'm not racing. Just saying, there's a reason why a lot of people aren't racing. It's just not fun for anyone right now. And the risk is higher than a vault and you're making nowhere near what you make for a vault. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's funny, yeah. it's I just say just race for fun want. and don't think about crews. Just think about racing and help each other. Back to the old ways of racing. Because honestly, I... I don't know. It is what it is. If he wants to do that and that's his path, then go for it. And I would say racing, it doesn't need more competition. That's the fucking issue. Literally, that's why I was so pissed off last night. That's all racing is right now. Racing supposed to be a fun pastime, not like fucking... 5v5 comps. Unless that's yeah. the intention of a race. But when every race is like that, then who's going to want to race? Only the best of the best. That's my... I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like everyone that's racing right now is disconnected from what the real issue is. And it's not them, it's just the thought process. Like, people want to have fun, and if racing isn't fun, then they're not going to want to do it, right? Monetary gain aside, like, a lot of people did like racing, and then what stopped it being fun was, like, I think people just felt like there was no no choice, like, no, no chance for them to win. And that's valid. Because, unfortunately, I don't think anyone in chat can tell me that they don't want to win once in a while. Sure, you can make a character and their whole thing is like crappy racing or being dumb in races and that's fine. That's actually fun. Don't say that because a lot of people are like that. You can't tell me that 90% of the people in the server wouldn't like a win once in a while. That's the reality. Even I'm like that. Once in a while, I would like to win. <laughs> I'd like to have that smile on my face and I'd like to get a bit of that praise. That's how everyone is. Everyone likes that. It's a great feeling. That's There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Because not everyone wants to take a loss every single day. There's 10% of people that can do that. It's the it's the validation knowing that your improvement is showing somewhere. And something that you are putting time into, right? It's like if you do a craft for every so often, like a hobby. And it feels like you've made no progress in it. You're never going to ever want to keep doing it. You're going to burn out. If you feel like you've been doing origami for a year and it doesn't look great... You're not going to want to do origami anymore, maybe. At one point, it was, like, too many people and too reckless. And too I don't even know if that was it. I feel like we caused an issue because we wanted one, right? Now that I think about it, no, those races, no. I had you fun with, though. We, it was, it no, is, it, it was everyone. It was a certain... There were... No, no there was absolutely... Okay, everyone. no, 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 stop. There were grinders in the scene, but why were the grinders never confronted? The grinders were labeled, like, orange and stuff. So instead of prosecuting the proper people, we created issues. And then when we created these issues, we pointed out certain people that weren't the issue. So that way we could validate the issue. That's is what happened. And that's why racing went back. And right now, the reason why no one wants to race is, is because unfortunately, everyone would like to win once in a while. And that's a very valid thing. And that's fine. I understand that. Getting your ass kicked left, right, and center against like the same 10 people can be very intimidating. It sucks. And eventually at some point you're going to say, well, 
Not like I'm not improving this, why waste my time anymore? I'm risking my car strikes and I'm losing money. So what's the point? That's completely valid. There's nothing wrong with feeling that way. Not to mention it doesn't, you don't really gain any monetary gain from it anymore either. So really what you are racing for is the fact that you like it or the validation you get from winning or anything like that. The genie's just not worth it. Yeah, gotta make the genie worth it. Yeah, exactly. And that's people, you know, it's fine. Like, I think eventually it'll be a thing again, but for now, just pace it and do it every so often and enjoy it. But personally, me speaking, I enjoyed the races that had those 12, 10 people. Because I remember the race that I enjoyed the most was not the one I won. Not the ones where I set lap records. Sure, that validation was great. But I think the one I enjoyed the absolute most. And also, I'm pretty sure I heard an interceptor a second ago. And then it stopped. It'd be pretty funny if they have interceptors going to these calls, wouldn't it? Imagine. Anyways, the race I enjoyed the most was the one where I was ha with uh, Hutch and a few other people, AP and them. And I don't think I won. I think I came podium, which was like a typical thing for me back then. It was like second, first, or third. But the thing I enjoyed the most was everyone was laughing about bubbles, just having fun. And it just was fun. Everyone else, there was no anger. There was no upset. Everyone was just laughing. That is what made racing racing to me. It wasn't, it didn't feel like we were grinding another job, another thing. It didn't feel like it was a competition thing where we had to make out with everything. It was just fun for everyone involved. That is what makes racing racing, I think. Yeah, Hutch is even laughing too. Yeah, I agree. For me, it's that and just having a good battle the whole thing really yeah exactly and there's a good balance of everything and i think we had that balance at one point but we cr we made an issue a small issue bigger than it was and then it blew up out of proportion and then this is what happens uh you never know what you have until it's gone yep and racing was very much that but it's not over i'm sure in um a week, two, maybe a month, it'll pick back up. Oh, I don't want to do this because I hate the animation. Because <sighs> the animation always gets stuck sometimes. I don't hate the animation, but I hate getting stuck in it. Because it does happen every so often. And I think I cause it more than it randomly happens. Yeah, I think when the drifting happens, that's when my heart's going to be back in it. I just hope we don't find a way to make it like super cringy competitive and people get discouraged. I remember the cool thing about drift school is you'd have people that just wanted to learn and have fun, man. I think that was my favorite part about being a drift teacher. It was like you had people like from all walks learning how to drift. That's one of my cars. Eh. Uh... I'm just gonna park this car up here and stay away from it. I will say, I think my favorite thing lately is when the night cruises more than racing. There's no monetary gain in that at all.
different type races dude rally races seem like such a fun idea and maybe like they increase the factor of just like randomness you just put everyone have everyone put their names in a hat you just shake them up and draw them then whoever you're with you're with you know maybe put a small monetary gain on the line but like I feel like that'd be fun everyone makes a new friend I think that would be really fun. Yeah, I think those off-road, those rally races might be some good times. I think I might have fun try one of those one of these days. Especially because I have that dune buggy. What if we do dirt bike races and have everyone steal a dirt bike? That could be good fun. Yeah, maybe maybe I start leading by example. Maybe we do some goofy ass races. Some off-road shenanigans and shit. Have everyone start stealing cars again and doing that shit, you know? $500 buy-in, something serious. Everyone can enter and have fun. Yeah, everyone steal a dirt bike, race it, you know? I would do that today. Maybe I'd do that before I hop off onto Claire, if I do tonight. Because uh, I have to wait for this weed to grow. I wanted to clean a lot of money, which we are doing. I need to do another run after this. Uh, the weed is another long time. So we'll be doing that. Redwoods. No, there's actually this uh, really long rally dirt race thingy. I don't see any cars. What? I haven't seen any cars in a bit now. Yeah. I might try moving. Maybe um. Yeah, maybe I'm. I'm gonna try moving this car. Move it in there. sidewalk I don't know god I heard a crown Victoria What's going on? We're in a local spawning. Uh, local? Local? Oh. I'm stuck in the fucking trash can. Go, mate, go. And I clean nothing. All that way for nothing. That is the depressor. Yeah, locals only like to spawn mid race. We have to speed everything up to spawn them, it seems. I don't even carry my dongle on me anymore. I'm just not interested. I just, I dream of the day that we have races with 10 people and with S classes or A classes or just whatever anymore. 
You think the drift school will be open to everyone? Yeah, it should be. That's how it was last, uh, in 2.0. Are these fucking guys and they're blocking the fucking road and shit, bro? Where there's our Start spot, blocking though. the fucking road! Bro, oh, I'm, I'm actually gonna shoot them. Look at her with the grinder walk as well! <laughs> Yo, by the way, I'll create some money for you. Maybe if you want me to. I'll do it for free. No, yeah, I like need. Extra bags. <laughs> he shorts the strap you to a train track. <laughs> I literally was going two miles per hour, man. I was about to tell you. I literally was like barely even moving. Do you think that little thing's gonna do anything? Look at that. Jesus Christ. It looks like he's just fucking leaving on this map. No, that would be boring. Racing, having that thrill of being chased is the scary part. I think another denominator possibly scaring people away is the thought of um, having to deal with uh, three interceptors. It'd be a godlike driver to get away from that man. It's fucking rigged. It's scary. Oh, uh, thank God. All right, we're good to go. You good to go? Yeah. I had to clean more. How much bunch job left to clean? A lot. What, hundreds? Yeah. What the fuck? You've you been hunting? No, I've just been sitting on it for a bit now. <sighs> no, I think that's another thing scaring people away from the idea. Alright. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Yep. I have. I need to go deposit. it. Oh, take me to LSI. What? Uh, let's go to a bank and then LSI. You should just put it at two in a shot. Hmm, the van? Yeah. And yeah, no one goes to LSI though. It's smart. Everyone's a tuner and they'll be like, why is she searching in a van? That's weird. And then some random person one of these days might hold me up and take all my shit. I don't know. They hold you up in front of the fucking tuner shop? Hmm. Someone's ballsy enough. Big bands from the photo shoot. More! LSI! Nice. Another ox run. And another. Another. Wait. Mm. You drive. You want me to drive? Why do you want me to drive? Do you have food? I'm gonna pee in this cup. Don't look at my wiener. Why are you peeing in a. Goofy, go in a bathroom! No time to lose. Oxy you barbarian! Okay, I must be in silence so otherwise I cannot do it. Okay. Are you nervous? Are you shy? Hey, don't look at my huge wiener, okay? I'm not looking at your wiener. I'm. Okay. What are you oh, talking just about? Give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Dude, these penumbras are nuts. They feel good to drive. I still like the SG4 more, but this is pretty cool. Yeah. 
much oxy do we have, chat? We should probably sell that, huh? Yeah. I need to move some of the illegal... How... Oh, wait. I still have three shotguns to sell. Oh, boy. We're actually getting the shipment today, believe it or not. That's a scary thought. Uh, 67. That's a little bit more. That's 57, actually. That's what I need. And a 39. And we shall grab these. Okay, two more oxy runs. Oh, the pills I had in here went bad. Shit. Okay, that's fine. I need to buy an illegal plate for that and stick it on there. Actually, I'm gonna throw this somewhere else. Yeah, I'm gonna hit up the gangs before I uh, put me to sleep for the night. Try and sell some shotguns to CG and stuff. Let's go to the bathroom. If they're near unusable, no. If you're buying a shotgun, I hope you're using it. If you're buying them to sit on them, I don't, I don't like that. If you buy bulk, I might consider doing a deal. Like if you buy three or more, I might consider selling them each for five grand. If you're buying two, I'm selling them for two to ten grand each. Shouldn't I keep the van under Mina's name? But why would I keep the van under Mina's name? Yo. What's up? Send it. My car. Yeah, but I landed it because I'm wicked. Where are we going? Oxy? Yeah, I need to... Okay. Alright. Uh, car. Are. Watch where you're going. I right, let me go to Benny's. No, I couldn't pull it out if it's under Karina's name. The whole point of the van is that I have access to it. Oh, yep. Racing line. Ooh, riding on sidewalks. I'm so cool. True criminal. You're gonna have nastiness. Nope. Put some. Huh? I can put some in. Well, don't you want to get away from the cops or you want to hold their hand? I don't need nas. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Okay, have it there just in case because my money we're gambling it. They move very slowly. Enough. And it's in. Yeah, now where's you? Um, I could put away my oxy. Mouth. Yeah, you think if the cops come, I could just chug all the oxy? You might overdose. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay. Drive us to our next car. I am quickly going to look at my phone and my social media posts and whatnot, okay? I'm gonna be deep in thought, reading all these numbers and whatnot. We, okay. We have to get a car though. All right. Well, you work on. 
finding where our next victim car is, I okay. am going to examine these social media posts. All right. Okay? Okay. Okay. I gotta go to the bathroom. That's really what's happening. I'll be right back. Did you guys minus one me? I went to have them real quick. Test, test, test. You haven't found a car. No. Sag. I can grab it. You're you're the best Claire in Los Santos. Man, Randy's not gonna answer shit. Ooh, something nice. Well, I wanna I wanna call uh, CG because they might have money to throw at a few shotguns, especially because uh, their thing lately has been holding out to shoot the cops, and these shotguns, well, they pack a punch. So my goal is to sell them to people that are going to cause chaos with them because May is secretly an evil bitch. And then it's going to bite me in the ass because one of them is going to get used against me and I'm going to mold. Controllers being all fucky. Yep, got Self-insert. Make AP buy one. You know what? Oi. Making a business call. Hey. 
So after you hurt me, I had to I have medical bills, so listen, we can square this up easily. You so buy one of my money for you. you buy one of my shotguns, I'll be happy. I have twenty thousand dollars to You my would do it for Mary. Well you know how much are even are they? Ten thousand for one shotgun and five hundred for the shells. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so hurt. Oh my god, so what hurt. the fuck? Ow, after you ran me over with that truck, I could exact, oh, I could exact man. violent revenge, but I would not do that to my friend, as I so, always like to support them. <laughs> if only listen, they would I'll, support my business. <laughs> listen, I'll buy one, but if I fucking can't make my payment on time, it's your fault. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> oh shit, we might not be able to get packages anymore. I just punched the guy in the face. I'm sorry. What did you do? Oh, he took it like a champ. If he's buying one of my shotguns, I guilted him. Nice. Wait, what? Did we stack one of them? Wait, did we just find a glitch to stack something when you shouldn't be able to? I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's intentional so it doesn't poof. Alright, we're gonna go. How much do these cost? I kind of want one of these for business. It's very professional looking. Yep. I can off-road. This could be the OnlyFans business car. Hello? <laughs> Did you really make poor AP shotguns? <laughs> I have medical bills to pay, and I said he didn't have to, but it would be very appreciated. <laughs> You're already scamming your own family member. How am I wow. scamming him? He's getting eight. Wow. You've changed. <laughs> You've changed. How have I changed? Ever since so, Jay's no longer here I've to humble changed. you. Ever since Jay's oh, no, 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 not here no, no, to humble no. you. I've changed. When he will fucking shrimp for Mary and buy a suppressor when he doesn't need one. But if I fucking sit there and sell him a shotgun, suddenly I'm a bad person. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you, you change. Ever since Jay was not, now not here to humble yeah, you, you Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking sure. You know what you want to find out if I change or not? You know what Jay fucking sure. did to me? He made sure I didn't fucking what? kill people, rat. Test me. Test me, rat. What the fuck? Motherfucker, I'm on the fence. Come through, bitch. Oh, oh really? Yeah, come through for Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Let's go shoot rat. No, Jesse's that ass. not away. That ass. Jesse's yeah. not away. Yeah, he is. I'm with him right now. Who do you think we're running Oxy with now? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, dead ass. Yeah, so we're going to shoot rat. No, he called me a pussy. That's why. You, you, you're violating poor AP and using his vulnerability to your do advantage. Do I want to ocean? Yeah, let's actually ocean up him. That way he can't be mad at me. Drop the fuck up. We'll rob him and ocean up him. Listen, I'm I'm rolling four deep with my gang. No cap, no kizzy. No cap, no got, kizzy. You act like sales. they would shoot for you. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, oh well. Yeah. Oh, rats out. Oh no. We got black. <laughs> we got black still. We got J step. We got AP, motherfucker. What are any of them even gonna though, do? <laughs> AP even, would even laugh. AP. <laughs> AP's washed as a washing machine, but still. Yeah, you act like he's gonna shiver you after he just said that. <laughs> well, he's not gonna know I said that, is he? Yeah, let me call him real quick. Exactly. Oh, okay, you really are changed. Fucking rat. Literal rat. I'm called rat, but you are the rat. Uh huh. Oh, no. Yo, AP, May's talking smoke about you right now. 
It's okay, all right. One second. <laughs> tell it, tell it you how you're such a dumb, yeah. dumb fuck for actually believing her about the medical bills. He's saying that <laughs> just to piss you off, <laughs> to get you to side against me. Oh on, you should have just saw what Shay just did. What the fuck? I thought I thought we were dead. Do you actually want me to buy a fucking shotgun off you? Nah, if you're broke, fuck no. If you want quality well, squirt guns, once then I, yes. Well, as soon as I need a gun, I'll get one off you, but I don't need a gun yet, so. Yes. Then there is no reason for you to buy one. Unless you yeah, want to shoot be. rat. Oh, I can do that with my scorpion, so. Mm, true. All right. Uh, we are going to be at that race. Are you going to be at the race? No, I am do busy doing business stuff. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Making sure everything goes swimmingly. Okay, I got you. How many more bags do you have? Because I'm, I'm actually down to literally just clean them for you. No, it's fine. Uh, there's a reason why I'm growing weed. Oh. Okay. We're getting into that business. Sounds good. Yes. Sounds yes. good. I appreciate the All effort. right. Yep, yep, yep. I got you. All right. All right. Uh, I'll catch you around. Call me if you need me. Later. Man. Be safe. Later. Who are you talking to, huh? I hear you. We gotta drive to the next location. Please being creep seed. No! We have to go check the weed soon. Oh, it's the one all the way by the pier again. It's the one all the way by the pier again. I say we just go uh, East Joshua here, like west on East Joshua, and then uh, hit Great Ocean. It's a race, by the way. Are you going to do it? I hosted it. Ah, okay. How many people are in it? Three, including me. Okay, so... Jeez, this is an A or S? A. Jeez. How long has it been up? Uh, since we left the spot at Vespucci. Wait. Like, since the first run? No, no. The, the one where we met AP and ran. Ah. Uh. I need to refuel. I want to ask him about an off-road race right now. It's not on my mind. I got to worry about weed and stuff. I want to go organize the warehouse one that too. Battle is very unfortunate in this car. 
Uh, yeah, today has more seeds with two plants being grown. And then after today, I think we have an adequate amount of seeds. Boy. And then we're going to do a big grow, and then... Uh, next day is a grow, or a seed and then grow, seed and then grow, seed and then grow. And hopefully in a week we should have enough to do one weed run. I'm trying to think of what else we need to do. I think after I'm done growing, we can actually take a break. We're waiting for the call. That's the thing. I don't want to be in the middle of a race when I get the call. I need to get everything ready. Pretty sure. One second. I don't remember how much weed it is. I'm pretty sure we have enough nearly just for the stuff, but I need to get like. I want to clean at least another run or two worth. What's the spot? Uh, it's the one that we were at last time where we met them. Where they were all, like, they ran into us while we were doing Oxy. Okay. Uh, if we could do another run or two, I'd be very appreciative. Because then I will have enough to cover things for a bit. And then I need to check on the weed in an hour and a half. Probably sooner. How much longer do we have on this list? Let me see. It's 50%. 50%, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'd say runner, uh, two more runs after this, and we should be good. I have people I can ask though about the weed run stuff. There's a lot of people I could ask. He probably knows, surely she does. And she is very kind to give us any information we ask for usually. After all, our current growth spot is because of her, so I'm gonna keep using that one until it gets discovered. But for my sanity, I'm only trying to do one grow a day you're, because you're the best Claire in Los Santos. It is very exhausting to do this every single day. What the local? Turk, thank you so much for your generosity in the 20 gifted. Holy hell! You don't have to do that. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, how much money do I have left? Oh, still a lot of bands, unfortunately. Ooh, um, mask, mask, uh, Kitsune, thank you so much for the sub and welcome, uh, to the Luna Buns, or Mooncake, sorry. I appreciate you. Tarek, same thing. Thank you for all the gift subs, and I appreciate you. Everyone that gives a sub, welcome to the Mooncakes, and I hope you enjoy your new emotes. There's quite a few of them. Morning wolves. Oh man, I hate this spot just because it takes forever.
What up, Dark? Either of those are here for me? Oh, okay. Please take my Girl Scout keys. Oh. 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 Um. I'm nearing the end. Like, if I, uh. Honestly, if I don't stream too long, I might be able to finish it tonight. Of Shadowbringers, and then I'll be in patch content. He got what he wanted, and he wanted to go, Chad, and I respect it. A lot of time wasted with that man. Does Tim Drifting stream when? Who knows? Maybe one day. I've been wanting to talk to Neutron about it, but uh, every time I bring it up casually, Sim Racing when? Or Drifting? What? Sorry? Sim Drifting when? Drifting? Yeah. Are we drifting? Sim Drifting. Oh, sim drifting. Yeah, every time I bring it up, we always forget. I need to get a, a wheel set up. Yeah, do we do we want to do, do that though? One? No, I've been I didn't want to come in unless you do. I figured we just get like a thrustmaster or something, like something cheap. Yeah, I don't really. I'm not gonna you know, do like a five thousand dollar setup or some shit. It's like anything really. We're done. Next run it is. At the very least, now I have enough for the shotgun. Nice. Shotgun order, I think. Let me check. Yeah, roughly. Yeah, and then two more runs and I should be covered for payments and stuff that are thrown at me. Jesus. Oh, this car here. 250. Uh, the answer regular. I'll try. I think regular. Maybe not. Probably not.
Oh, let me get in. There's one with the... There's one with the shifter. Let's go to the spot that hasn't changed. We want the shifter, yeah. Do we want the shifter or do we just want the wheel and the pedals? Yeah, for me, I'd probably just take the pedals, honestly. Yeah, well, it comes with the pedals. You got, you got the pad shifters on the wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you don't have a clutch, though. Because it only has the brake and the... Yeah, you'd have to buy a clutch. But you can get the clutch, not with Jesus. the... Jesus. Uh, really? You have to get it all... Oh, let's go to LSI real quick. I get more to clean. Yeah, I think I might just do pedals. Or I'll check my options, because they don't seem too much. A lot check one comes with a clutch. And I do like me some Logitech. We gotta hit a bank at some point too. We'll hit it on our way back. Just gotta go LSI first. We're gonna go the long safe way because it sounds like cops are out and about. Why well, don't think I'm gonna hardcore get into it, chat? I think it's just gonna be for fun. Maybe drifting every now and then. Oh, I went the wrong way there. Good shit. Uh, I'm gonna turn off right here. Fancy 14. That was close. A G29. You know what's funny is, uh, I, I think Anthony Z doesn't have a driver's license IRL and he says, I think it's because he says he can't trust himself on his podcast like that, which I totally respect that. I actually respect the shit out of that. To, reckon, to be able to recognize that is such a good thing. He's out practicing right now. Oh no. Well, I wish him to be safe and not do anything reckless. I know what I was like when I was a teenager. I was a very reckless gal. He's gonna buy an R8. He's gonna, be selling, he's gonna buy something really nice. He'll do it, chat. He'll do it. <laughs> Do that podcast could be fun. If I'm get invited, I will absolutely do it. Yeah, cars appreciate pretty hard. Watches don't. You could always sell watches. Uh, and then now we hit the freeway again, and I hit a bank. The depot, all this cash, yo. I spun out because the bush and I didn't recover. 
Kawa. That's a good one, too. I, I'm actually going to watch that one for then. I need to go back and watch the one with Chris. How much money still have to clean? Uh, I estimate about 400k. In that ballpark. Oh, Chris was removed. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't think it's too interesting to be on a thing like that, to be honest. I'm just someone that bounces off of people pretty good. Like, everyone else that's been on the show has a very, like... Good dynamic. If that makes sense. I'd be a better like person that people bounce off of, or like I bounce off people well. That's why I think people like Neutron and Kitty and all those people are much better. Oh my God, that's a lot of cops. Do you see all of them back there? I don't know where you saw them. Uh, they were they were on Great Ocean. They were yeah they were near the beach and they were on the left of us. Oh I didn't see. Yeah they were back there. It was like a Mustang, I think another interceptor and some CVPS. Podcasts are a way to go, though. People eat those up. runs I do by myself are always the crazy ones. Uh, the oxy runs I always do by myself are always the crazy ones. And then I give peaceful aura. Then again, I there were the two where I hit a cop at a traffic stop on accident because <laughs> I was going like 120, and I turned around a corner I couldn't see around the <laughs> cop at a traffic stop. And I got pursued by like three CVPIs and a bike cop, and they were trying to pit me immediately. You had to use NOS, it's not fair. Yeah, 
I don't have us. Loser. I don't have not opium. I didn't want to hit the guy with the bike. I'm not a murderer like you. I'm gonna pit him, chat. I'm gonna pit him. Pit authorized? Who's team are you on? Oh, I'm not on that. Wow, did you spin out there? Imagine. I didn't actually. Uh -huh. I wish we got a safe cracker or something, man. We got a green dong yeah, or anything. Fucking AP told me yesterday in one run, Tony got three. Uh -huh. This is favoritism. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Wait, it, oh, was I he doing figured... auction runs with Tony? Well, I don't know, he did one at least. So. Ah, maybe that's why he's trying to join his crew. I think it was he's on leaving the, us. On the. When we did the cruise, he asked or something. Ah. Nice hiding spot, dude. Just lay in the bush. Just lay in the bush, bro. I have to help you with that. Come on. Oh, that was a good clean, though. 8,000. Nice. Trade with Tony AP for you know. No. You know wouldn't enjoy it. Gotta do the race after this. There's a lot of people. Oh, there's a lot of people? Well, there's seven, so yeah. Oh, that is a lot, yeah. Most I've heard in weeks. Aw, Ninja, thank you so much for the comrades. I appreciate you. Welcome back I'm to the Mooncakes. Six months. Can't wait for another joining? six months of laughs. Um, hmm. It's a good question, isn't it? I think I'll pass. I need to be ready for this delivery and I need to clean up everything. And thankfully, I think the warehouse is in peril. I'm not feared of losing it anymore, so we should be good. Sorry, what? I was on the phone. Oh, you're fine. Did you want to race? I didn't pick that up. Uh, no, I might pass because there's stuff I can do. I need to go check the weed for one. Yeah, I believe she did. I believe uh, it's in Karina's name. Which is good because uh, we need that place to stash all the weed. And then I shall go on Claire soon. Oh wow, this is a lot. Yeah, let's go to the next spot. We're almost done. I'll do another set of delirious. Oh boy.
Oh. <laughs> I thought I could adjust the last second. Yeah, perhaps it's best I don't race. <laughs> okay, alright, yeah. Sorry, I had to adjust right there. I my, I felt my, uh, pedal giving gun stuff. So. Really concerning. This car is very broken. Oh, this works just fine. I don't get stuck anymore. A bit of money quite a bit of money yeah no no um i i don't know if i'm gonna play be playing animal crossing doing an mmo on animal crossing is really hard I, this goes back to the whole thing i talked about the beginning of my stream having me time and i like to spend it playing final fantasy or doing meme -me things which is like going to the gym and stuff which i haven't been able to do in a while which is uh not great for the old thinker box hope we get a dongle or a safe cracker. You're, you're the best Claire in Los Santos. Yes, thank you for the 10 gifted. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you, thank you. Everyone, good gift for the sub. Welcome to the Mooncakes. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Through the uh, generosity of Genesis. I appreciate you so much. Uh, two more to go. No, do you think I said time to go? I said two more to go. Time for me to go. Oh, are you leaving me? Oh, okay. You can go if you want to go race, it's fine. As I say that, the worst shit's gonna happen. We need to go to LFI anyways. I absolutely do get how Chris feels now, though. Yeah, they're slow rolling us. Red Bison. You made a right? No, I made a left. Made a left down the intersection and went south. He slow rolled us while he was on the phone. Means a lot, Genesis. Thank you. 
Um, I prefer not to get in a gunfight, but you could be looking for one. I really don't want to shoot someone, but if that's going to be the case... We're coming from the north that's slowing down. What's that? We're good. It was a customer. Alright, one more and we're out. And we almost cleaned everything, chat. Oh, the stratum needs to be repaired. That's going to cost a pretty penny. Like $2,000. Let's get out of here. Chip, 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 chip. Oh, I got out, I guess. Where do you have a car? Uh, take me to a bank real quick at the very least. This one on the left will do. Actually, take me to the casino real quick. Casino. Yeah, I could do a hundred instead of a. I just I would rather do a hundred with like. Um. I think I might have the LG. Or you, you wanna? Okay. No, I have it in Richmond. Tuner, tuner. Um. Just take me to tuner. I guess that's where all my cars are. That was a good run, 45k. Be right back. Yep. Because no one's gonna have a stock SG4 they'd want to trade. If someone were to outright trade me for the SG4, I would do it 100%. Three thousand the bank and yep, hundred forty k. Nice too. Even though I got to spend another forty one grand for my car. Ah, uh, nearly. I have my ten shotguns. I'm gonna try and sell them in bulk and offer a bulk pricing. Yeah, I'm coming down the highway right now towards the spot. Okay. Yeah. See ya, see ya. Jeez, see, I have to lie to these people. Yeah, don't you always do that though? No. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Well, I'm gonna go do more stuff for the group, I guess. So... Figure out where else we could plant weed.
Have fun. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Yep. I can't even start the car, oh. It's, it's, it needs to do everything. It got fucked when that issue was happening where you pull it out of the garage and it would break everything. That is really unfortunate. Yep, I was driving it for a second and it broke everything. Wait one second. Wait, um, I think we were getting free repairs, but I don't know. I'm gonna ask real quick. Yeah, I mean, this is yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough. You, you need everything, everything. Yeah, how much would it be? Just tell me how much. Just curious. With the employee discount. <laughs> oh, 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 come on, I, I, man. I, I, didn't make it worse. I didn't make it worse. Now it won't worse. start. Now it won't start. I got now. Let me hit it with an advance. Hold on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was stuck about hey, babe. And there was a spider. You thing, fucking you know dick. <laughs> you I asshole. You made it saying. worse. It won't start now. At least it started. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I got you. It's already I'm bad so as is. It's broken the shit, and then you kicked it. You had to test fate. I, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, you know. <laughs> All right, let me just, um, let me give you, uh, let me just see. Let me get you a price, right? Can't believe this. Mate, what's your uh, state ID? It's 1718. I just want to know how much it would cost. Someone actually charge me. Yeah, no, I'm on the thing. Look. Do you work here now? Yeah, I work here. When did you get fired? No, I'm a few days ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, you looking at about 5Gs. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think for these ones, um, Eddie was kind of doing something special and just kind of, you know, getting everything taken care of, you know what I'm saying? Okay, then I might ask Eddie next time he's in. All right. Yeah, I I don't Chat. know if I should throw the parts on or just have it, no. know, him or Mary do it or somebody, you know? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, did you not use the advanced repair kit? You I said you did. I have one. I need to find one. Let me see if what I got one in my fuck? truck. Come on. I might have one in my truck. Fuck, dude. I don't know what car we have to do the deal. We need, uh, we need the Stratum because that's the most storage space. Uh, cause the van is really inconvenient to take. I'm gonna mess you up. The fuck? No! Asshole! Yeah, it's a hundred pounds. I need two fifty. What I'm gonna do is I, I don't got a repair kit on me, so I'm gonna throw. I'm... And you're gonna charge me for it? No, I'm gonna charge. I'm not myself get charged. For yeah, it. you on, better. I I can't believe this. To go in your trunk. I'm sorry. You're trying to go in my trunk now? I didn't know maybe you had one hiding. You tried to go in my trunk? <laughs> I'll be right back. 
Yeah, I might have to run to Bison. Not too fond of that idea either. That's it. I want a free repair. I'm complaining to Eddie. <laughs> I didn't need help. I'm talking HR. I'm calling Rami. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Tell him Dougie Fresh says what's up. I'm gonna tell him you harassed me. <laughs> you hit me. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I fell down. I'm sorry. Can't believe this. Hello. You said don't call you, so I called you. What the f that's fucked up? Why I missed you. Alright, later, Fiona. Okay, bye. Fiona? Yeah, she told me not to call her, so I called her. Oh, I thought you were calling me Fiona. I was like, damn, I'm, 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 I'm looking like Fiona. My car's still broken. What did you do to it? <laughs> well, yeah, you can drive it. What do you mean? My god, what is this? I just, I just, what do you mean? It's, you, you, <laughs> I, I throw an engine in the body so you can get a <laughs> and so Eddie can look at it and actually fix it, fix it like all the way up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Holy shit. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I Wait, drove it down the road and it fucking combusted. What do you want me to do? Oh my God. What is this shit? I'm not even turning, bro. What is this? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I remember it happened on stream. I need to park this actually. I think that needs to be pennies too and repaired soon. You're telling me my ass if these are insane. Wicked. Not wicked. I actually need to get a play for this.
It's a Vin. I really want one of these, though. I really like him. Wait, what? I'm better off just getting this repaired at a fucking shop. Oh my god. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. But I don't get what's the Wu Ching records about that. These are cool. I like these. I still feel like the Nagasaki is way better. That's kind of cool. Oh, wait, I can use, yeah, I can use Hutches. I forgot I work there. Oh, shit. Let me go there. Wait a minute. That's actually conveniently where I can go. Might as well use our benefits, right? Aha. You know, chat, I'm kind of curious how much that Nagasaki is. Maybe we run away with the Nagasaki. It can't be that much, can it? Let's go check. Hmm. We have a bit of time, so we theoretically need to check the uh, stuff. And I needed to depot some stuff because I'm carrying a lot on me. Probably shouldn't speed. Don't want to draw any attention to myself. As much as I do like this, the Nagasaki has the suspension that I like. Because you can go off-road with it. Like, this one is cool and all, but this is more for, like, sand. I want to go up mounds and shit, you know? I think it's an import. Ooh. Oh shit. Macho isn't that much. Wait, it's not in here. Is the utility maybe? That's a van. Well, darn, where is it? I didn't see it in here, did we? I've already passed it. Zero buggy. Cara Cara. Dune buggy. Am 
<gasps> oh, it's so much money. But I want it. Damn you. Why can't I too just have a business worth millions and spend on stupid shit all the time? Pull a gun, I will pull out a shotgun, I will shoot you. Okay. Does he have a permanent... Am I lagging? Was my car scuffed? What? Oh. Everything worth driving is so expensive. It's not that it's worth driving, it's... Purely for the fun factor. If it was like 100k, I would buy it. It's that 80k that makes the big difference. It breaks my heart. Oh, maybe it's someone playing a RuneScape character? Yeah, I might scratch one. That is true, just more asset fees. Uh, asset fees makes me not want to get anything anymore. <laughs> I, man, it's it's a rough world. I guess I'll, I'm happy with this for now, but I would like to get that outlaw one day. Thank you for pointing that out, chat. I appreciate you guys. Don't talk about more acid feats on any of my characters, please. I hate them. Not much. People really aren't after asses right now. Or A's right now, chat. Oh. And 95 grand. Holy shit. Holy. Okay. Well, I want to make that happen. God, everything costs so much money. Good thing we're getting in the weed business. And then maybe the bank business again. Yeah, I do, I do want to do that. But if I'm paying that much, I think I want Lewis to design me a Poggers one. Which I think is fine. I think if I'm paying that, that much in character, I'd want a very Pog one, you know? Delivery for the uh, S15. It's reasonable though. Liberties are expensive. And he's doing all of the work OC, you know? Yeah, I like the fan ones, but I, I want... I'm torn between if I want something simplistic or something out there. Well, no, I, I still have to pay the 95 grand chat. <laughs> In order for the imp, like the livery to be done, you have to still pay the 95 grand. He's doing all the work IRL, so I'm saying. He's making like in character 
swimming character money, you know? I'm gonna see if he's designing it, because then I'm gonna throw ideas at him. This thing is so much fun to drive off road, though, chat. It doesn't have the suspension of the outlaw. That's why I like the outlaw more. It's a very convenient vehicle for our purposes of grabbing weed. Which actually, I did fuck up. I was supposed to depot some stuff, so I meant to drop some random stuff we have. Yeah, I gotta talk to Wise and see how he feels about it. Because if the fan made liveries are free and then I could have him do a livery for 95k, I wouldn't mind that. We don't need a lot of trunk space, thankfully, actually, so we should be good. Because only two of those plants should be our beloved uh, weed. The rest should be seeds. Yeah, we have Afghani. We have Afghani. We have the best stuff, which is good. Every time someone says, uh, if you don't have money, don't buy expensive shit for asset fees, it's kind of one of those uh, unexpected expenses because they got raised recently. But the people that have the money for asset fees are the people that have passive income. Otherwise, you're constantly having to grind. So you say that now, so you're having to come around the server every day doing grindingly tasks. And then you're going to get upset when that's all you get to watch or see. It's just not fun. So people could be understandably upset about it. It's absolutely fine. People don't have to enjoy every system that's introduced to something. And SFE seem to be one of those wide things that a lot of people don't seem to enjoy. There's ways to make money sinks enjoyable too, but it's really hard to do. It's more easier said than done. How's that one only 60%? How are they? Oh, because there's seeds. That's why. Ah. That one's almost done. Hmm. So these ones are gonna need maybe yeah 24 minutes ish a little bit more than that they're only at 70. okay 
Okay, one of our plants is done now. Okay, but what is the point of permaing? A lot of people don't perma because a lot of people's livelihoods are on some characters. Honestly, most of the time when you perma on a wasted arc, it's usually not that great. There's a lot more you can do with your character. like that was your own doing. Yeah, dude, that's why I got to plan the uh, slides tonight. Or my way of teaching it, which is going to be... I want to get uh, someone, like an officer, and... Um... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, hey. Spun out there. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like uh, how people felt about like Bass and Permitting. It felt kind of sad you did. It created a lot of temporary roleplay and then it just kind of vanished. Kind of sucks for your character sometimes. We're well, not your character, but just like in general. Yeah, I kind of was. Would you ever take others' weed plants or not? Nah? I've done it once or twice. <laughs> it was just out the middle of nowhere, like out of front of prison. But I don't think I would, no. Because I would think, my mindset is I wouldn't want someone doing it to me, so I don't want to do it to them. chilling right now waiting yeah but I say this time and time again especially with where cars are going right now the money sink itself is supposed to be the car purchase like there are PDM S class cars that cost less but perform better than some tuner cars right now right and they're still in stock you can still get them so the only reason to buy a tuner car anymore is one if it's your favorite class or car and two if it's a flex it costs a lot like even my s15 which is decently slow compared to some of the others they're not slow but like definitely not as good as some other cars uh costs like 1.5 three mil nearly that isn't like light money anymore especially for us because we can't hit vaults whenever we want especially because even now i'm trying to get thermite so we can hit banks and it's not easy to get
Yeah, exactly. Like the wingman promo was bad. I guarantee as soon as he did it, he regretted it. I am willing to put money on it. He was, he, I guarantee he said, I won't regret it. I won't regret it. Chat, I will tell you right now, he probably regretted that shit as soon as he got off the server and stopped streaming. I will put money on it. Because ultimately, and it's not a bad thing. It's absolutely fine. Because now he feels like he doesn't have a character to play. That was his fun character for him. He liked that character. And you can't really fault him for that. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, exactly. That's the example I used is the Bassam one. Bassam had a lot more story to tell. It really is a sad thing because I like Wingman a lot on both my characters actually. <laughs> Dare I say both my characters? I liked him a lot. So it's kind of sad that I don't get to see him. Yeah, exactly. It's okay to set like very good perma conditions for your character. And I think those are the conditions you need to set for when you're like, okay, I'm ready to let go. I think May will one day. I think May's gonna ask and bring it up in the next conversation she has with them. I need to get Ramos's number. Does Claire even know about Wingman yet? I don't think she does. I know May does. May knows. Yeah, but Burn is like a good role player. He knows when to perma. Because <laughs> he kept the no you arc going on for a bit, and then he permed eventually when it was like the perfect time to do it, you know? He like Burn. No, when perma is efficient. Yeah, it was good while it lasted. I think Kitty sold me on that arc. Kitty sold me on that shit. That was sad. I'm actually really excited to do the... Uh... Oh, speaking of that, I need to watch more film Meta Alchemist. I need to learn of ways I could twist how... Uh... Winry was played, or how she is. She just, I think she just messes with them, right? From what I've seen in the show, she just messes with them a lot. So I'm just gonna embarrass them in front of people. That's the plan. Yeah, exactly. The fuel's RP. Like Bassums, I, I, it was good for a bit and the PD investigation was great, but it sucked because it got dropped like in a week. It sucked because a lot of people like Bassum, even May liked Bassum. Because they were co-workers at one point and then they weren't, you know, because he's dead. 
That's had a great arc. But also sometimes you feel like it's time for the character to go and you don't enjoy it anymore and that's good. Oh, that's right. They were. I remember that. Because Kyle was like interrogating him because I went back and watched after the arc was over and it was really good from their side. Which speaking of that, let me call Randy. I need to get Rami's number because Rami's the one I think would have tested it. But I want to know if Randy tested it. Because I want Randy to confirm my thoughts. Alright, he's not around anymore. Oh, I can't hang up via that if it's not in a phone call. Right, there you go. I was gonna say I feel like hunting in this would be good but then I realized hunting is like storage space and you want that Snatch. Oh, they're in Florida. Oh, damn. Hope they're having fun. That's fine. I think we have a lot of people we could sell to. I need to call. I'm going to call up some of the Vagos boys. Uh, if I had Mike's number, I'd call him because uh, Mike is good friends with me. Mike do be shooting cops, so. Yeah, so this is where the twisty park was about. Yeah. Oh yeah, crackhead. Oh, May is good friends and care to a crackhead. Does she trust him with knowing that though? Yeah, she would. Burn crackhead. Go back. Yeah, she would. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna call crackhead. That's a good idea, chat. I like how there's always this pig here. It's cute. We should name him. Okay. So one of these should be ready to harvest. That should be our other wheat plant. Oh, he is around. Okay, did you test yep. it? The shotgun is fucking doo doo. No way. Uh, I mean, it, it's okay, but Rami used it yesterday. He said it was like a Nerf gun. It was a Nerf gun? Yeah, like it hit really poor. Okay, well then I'm going to go have some other people test it. What the fuck? Where were you guys? How long were you shooting from? Uh, Literally so close in the morgue. In the morgue? Wait, in the morgue and they weren't going down? Yeah. Okay. I, think, I don't know if he missed or like... I don't know. I'm going to ask Jesse to test it again because he said he was shooting cops and they were just down. One or two shots. Really? And he knocked down four with it, apparently. Yeah. Him what and Rat got into a shootout with cops. Apparently, they were getting chased and they just knocked down the cops in seconds. Oh my fucking God. Um. So hmm. I'm going to ask him to test it again. Maybe we just retry it. Yeah, yeah, we can retry it. All right. But sometimes this thing is like in this series, it really just depends who you're shooting at because sometimes like people tank shot, sometimes mm -hmm. like people don't. It's yeah, like, that's kind of the curse of it, right? It's yeah. You hit them or you don't in their eyes, and then you're like, oh shit. Because like realistically, with the shotgun, you only have a few shots before like the AK just sprays you down. Yeah, exactly. You, I think if you're fighting another really gang, just... I wouldn't take a shotgun to it, honestly, because usually gang fights aren't they like buildings and all kinds of crazy shit. I think you're better off with an AK at that point. AK or the M70. Wasn't uh, the AK oh, worse AK's than the M70? Bad. Yeah, the M70 is better, but you can't get them anymore. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Wait, I thought they came out of Bobcat. 
No, the AKs come out of Bobcat now. M70s are gone. What? Disappeared. You know? Wonder if someone saw them. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, I had the last one in the city, but then uh, I lost it. Yeah, no shit. Like no shit. I have one like maybe yeah. two or three weeks ago, but we had a heist that went bad. Damn. Oh. So is the Draco better then? Isn't the Draco the better option? Oh, no, at that no, point? Draco's fucking dog shit. No, no, no. Really? Hell nah. AK is decent. Mm hmm. It's just uh, much better than the Draco. Damn. Okay. All right. I might have to go get some of my own field experience with only shotguns. All right. Later, Randy. Yeah, do it. Bye. Appreciate it. All right. So that's not good to hear. Rami's aim. I don't like to show on Rami's aim because he has good days and he has bad days. That's like everyone, though. May AP bench Prage. I would love to have an AP bench. I think having a bench would keep me around because the material grind would be interesting for a bit. But then I think after a month, it would probably just fall off. I'm so sad. I like the M70. It was cute. That is good. That's really good for a shotgun. True. And actually, if I was a supplier for AP pistols, I could make enough money to just pay people to go do that shit for me. That is a very true thing. Okay, so... It seems as if our weed has a little bit longer. Okay, so it might be four hours for seed plants. So if that is right, then these should take another half an hour. I feel like these didn't grow much though since we've been gone. So maybe another hour? We'll try 30 minutes. We'll try 45, because this should be roughly what we had. 43, that'll work. Bunch of the clean hangarounds. Oh, pay them to clean shit? Oh, yeah, Kitty would totally be up for that. That's what I'm saying. That because as soon as Jesse told me they're good, and to back this, Jesse bought another shotgun from me. That tells me a lot. They're good. I just think Rami might have been having a bit of desync and missing some some shots. That's no distract to Rami because I think he has great aim. Like that paintball tournament, he was shooting great. But I just had a rough night or an off day. Right, let's get this uh, bud back to the warehouse. Oh shit, they had the adrenaline stringer? Oh, that's sick. They got changed after that? Nah, no way. Yeah, either Robbie's really cracked or he's just like, he's having an off day. <laughs> I had a lot of fun paintball with him though. It was a lot of fun. You know, there was a lot of uh, sweaty esports drama going on with them. Look at Babel Turn Mills. Great. They gave 50% armor? What? Over time or like immediately? Holy shit.
over like three seconds. Is it faster to use than the vest too? Because the vest takes a fair bit of time. So that's the trade-off, right? Faster. That is a very scary thought there. Thing I can't see any of my. There you go. There you go. Oh, wait, it is a. There you go. Oh, okay. Lizpot, I appreciate you for the six months. Thank you so much. Sorry, I couldn't see this for a bit. Welcome back to Mooncakes. And Chunky, thank you for the four months. I appreciate it. Welcome back to Mooncakes. So because an eye pack? Damn. True, I could bring Toby. I should. It's my only companion. You know what I noticed? Goofy hasn't called me back yet. I give him shit for that. Yeah, I'm doing great. Hey. I am safe. I'm doing great. Thank you so much, you, for asking and being concerned about my well-being. I was gonna, but then I forgot. Mm. I was. Oh, you forgot. That makes it so much. Thank you. I. You were gonna, not... then you forgot. So I'm forgetful. I'm forgetful now. No. Wow. That's... No. No, it's just that. Mm. Go I ahead. hosted another race. And oh, then, and another race. Okay, another race. You forget about me immediately. Okay. All right, Goof. That's fine. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I can't. Oh, oh, so now you're tired. Yeah. Tired of me? Is that what you're saying? No. Wow. Real smooth, Goof. Real smooth. Okay, I'm just going to pretend not to be hurt by all this. Will you sit there and don't say a word? <laughs> Starting the very... race. Oh, you're st you're doing another race. Yeah. Okay, that's great. We are going that's right great. Now. Oh, you're going right now. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I'm so happy you're having fun. I'm driving back and forth between Polito. Do you have a race car bed? No. You should get one. I should. Cause it's all you seem to know how to do! Hey, how's it going? It's like fucking raccoon. It's my alt apartment. So those are the white interceptors. Seem like they have local problems too. Yeah, it's totally, he totally has a lightning and queen bed and shit, chat. Chat, can you do me a solid? Can you pester him to buy a sim racing wheel so that if I buy this one right now, I don't just have one and he tells me to fuck off? All right, so I'm getting the law detector. So the G29, oh, it does. It has everything. It has everything but the shifter. Oh, shit. He was, okay. All right, well, shit. I mean, we might have to do some reason.
Why do we have nothing in here? Wow, that's such a fucking waste of a warehouse. Holy shit. Look at the tr trust master. Q150? Trip, trip. Fifty. This one's. I don't want to buy a stupid expensive one, Pat. Yeah, I saw this one. This is the one that doesn't have a clutch, though. Is the G920 good? What's the difference? This one's a little more expensive and it gets here quicker. It's like it's like a few dollars more expensive. I don't get it, which is better. It has shiny lights. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't want to get an expensive one. But then again, she doesn't have anyone to do that stuff with. I think that would be fun for her. That's a player. It's Toby. It's not! Oh. Okay, well, I'm ready to get my order. I know I'm not actually. We haven't figured out the car solution yet. Theoretically, I can carry all the shotguns on me in a bag. And then I could carry the. No, the stratum's broken. It's like beat to shit because of the glitch that was happening like a week ago. About a week ago. Like it needs 10 parts across the board kind of broken. Yeah, check those lines out, guys. Woo.
Hey, Prote, how are you? Ugh. Damn it. Radical? Radical. Ugh. Not radical. I think I could jump up onto the way right there. Killing time right now. You gonna kick this too, huh? Yeah. I mean, hopefully not. Kick it. It's free. All oh. right. Let me let me let me look and see. Right. Let me see. Let me see what you got. All right. I'm so jealous you have the outlaw pro tape. Fuck you. Oh, it's so good for off-roading. Oh. I should have bought the Porsche. Look at this. This thing looks sick. You paint it silver and put Samurai on it. Oh, wait. I get copyrighted for that. Yeah, I could probably hit a little bit of everything on this, you know, because you and me, you know, you're real close on, like, you know, your engine, the uh, radiator, you know, and bang out your body a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Does it need it? I mean, you're real close, you know. Okay, all right. Well, if you recommend kinda it. Like, you kind of like right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, if you recommend it. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, and after you drive a couple miles, you're going to need it, you know what I'm saying? So. Let me use my trap card. Cha ching Employee discount. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. Don't worry. Claire! Oh, do you think of the gifts of the prote? Day! Let's just talk shit about that spoiler, okay? Rote, I'm grinding and doing everything for, huh? Well, what's this thing called again? Vagrant. All right. You know what plate you got it in the system under? Just put it under anyone's plate if you catch it, my trap. It, it don't matter. I, I, I don't want to get yelled at. You know what I'm saying? As long as I'm going to yell at, I'm chilling. You won't get yelled at. You now understand Luna said, hey, hey, don't judge me. My feeties are cold. I'm cold. I wanted to do some Claire tonight, but I'm waiting for this weed to dry. Oh, look who it is. The grinders of the hour. Oh, never mind. No, they're not. That's not them. Jeez. Let me go grab that part, all right? All right. Thank you. Yeah, let me... They're doing the lot Q thing. Oh no.
You ever just go through yellow pages and wonder what the fuck is going on? The nettie's around. <laughs> what the hell? Like he was like one of the best things that ever happened. <laughs> I love them. I fully support that arc happening. That was dramatic. Is there? Yeah. Right. Hey, I don't want to take your repair. There's a repair right there. Hello? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna count down from five. If you don't answer back, then I'm gonna take the repair. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm just gonna get my clothes on real quick. I'm gonna do the repair. What's up? How can I help you? Hey, hey, how you doing? Um, I would like this repaired. Um, okay. However, um, I don't, uh, I don't really know what's wrong with it besides the fact that it's like completely trashed. Okay. When you were driving down the road at higher speeds, did you feel like it was giving out on you, like slowing down, or? Yeah, yeah. It had, that's the thing is I'm not getting proper yeah. engine performance out of it. It's are you hearing a rattling up, in the obviously. engine? Hell yeah. I'm where are you hearing it from? Did you work. hear from where it was from, like in the? Lower part, like, did it sound like it was coming from, like, below the car almost, or, like, a bit higher up, you think? You know what? It kind of rumbled in my butt. I could feel it, almost, you know? Eh. Um, so I would say from below the car. Um, eh. Other know. than that, I feel that the steering is a bit loose as well. Like, the actual, uh, the actual, like, the actual wheel, like, is, it feels like. The actual wheel? Loose. Okay, did you do an aftermarket yeah. wheel or anything? Um, on this, no, it's a uh, stock, so it just might be, uh, you know, it might be a problem, uh, with the steering mm. column, maybe. Do you I'm need copium? Sure. And then, maybe? No, yo. Some copium. Oh, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I might have a yeah, bottle a of that for 200. I don't have any copium um, on me right now. I'll have to bring you some. Okay. Um, the, what I'd like, if you could, is I'd like to keep, Watch your um, attack. I don't have any cash on me, um, but I'd like to keep the repair below oh, maybe around 1200 if you could. Yeah. Below 1200? Okay, I can try my best. Okay. I probably see. need a new Have set you of shopped the 6 before? Yes, I have, yeah. I mean, you know, at least I still got some glass in my passenger side window. A little bit. Okay, what's the plate for this vehicle, or is it one of those, uh... Uh, it's, it, the plate is criminal. Yeah, sure, what car, what car do you want to scratch? Uh, what do you want to work? Vagrant. Are you doing it? Oh, I already um, did the Vagrant, I'm just doing the Penumbra right now. Yeah, do, uh, rats. Alright. Yo, uh, AP! Yo, here we go! go. What was Are the last thing I used again? He's having a hard time. Uh, firing say that again up. for the Would license plate. Look at the yeah. uh, spark plugs. For um, me? this one has a fake spark plate on it. So you know, you want all that under twelve hundred? Uh, random one. Well, you're needy. You know, right. I know, I know, but you know, uh, I mean, I care about her, but not that much, you know. Hmm. Well. Your, I mean, the electronic system, that might take two, and that might put you over 1,200, but I could do one for now. But you're going to be... Uh, you're yeah, gonna I be... just would... 
or I, I just don't. I have all my money's uh, you know in cash under my pillow. Do you have twelve hundred in your bank? Yeah. Are you some kind of criminal? No. All right, let me go get your parts. I appreciate you. No problem. Take a look at our magazine and whatnot. You can see some future cars because, uh, you know, it's nice to have dreams and stuff to save up for. And the catalog over there. Maybe one day you can own a GTR. I'll get you some more copium. Actually, I might need it. One part across the board. One part across the board. One part across the board. Yep. Getting that man's hopes up. He's gonna give him GTR. That's why I was gonna give him copium. That's all. Yeah, I guess it's not a bad thing not to window shop either. Nah, I prefer not to. See, I have this problem where if I see something and I want it, I'll buy it and I will go into horrendous debt to get it. Oh no. You could do it. That GTR could be yours. <laughs> huh? Talking to a customer, sir. Jeez. Uh, sir. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yes. Call me sir more often, thank you. Alright, well, welcome to Six Star Tuna Shop, weirdo. I think your card's broken. You might have to scrap it. What the fuck about your fucking car? Yeah, I, I dropped the engine on its oil pan. Sorry. Eh. Uh, let me get these dumb fishes in here. <laughs> Jesus, what'd you do to this thing? <laughs> oh, me? Uh, well, to be honest, I parked it on you the. You take it drifting? No, I, I, I would love to. Um, oh, yo. I, uh, so did you just decide I, to drive into a construction site and crash into the wall a few hundred times? Um, actually, I hit a set of train tracks and flipped it. I'm uh, and also, radiator. somebody stole my car and went on a joyride with it. Ah, I guess why it's a cracked radiator, the broken tires. Uh, sir, if you keep waving that my face, I'm going to have to ask you to step out of sight. Not come back into the six star tuner shop. Can I ask you a question, ma'am? Yes, sir. <laughs> How the fuck are you repairing the engine with the hood down? There's no hood, hood here. There's no hood on this car. I see a hood. I see nice one, buddy. What kind of crack cocaine yeah. are you on? Yeah, go ahead and step outside, buddy. The we don't want uh, any crack or drug heads inside. <laughs> uh, okay. Fucking crack Yeah, head. fucking crack, crack head. at it. I mean, I will literally uh, swing for you with my MPX 1000 Pro. Do you nice have spec. any extra crack? Kind of weird, Can you man. Just name drop an MPX 1000. Uh, what'd you say? It's not like you name drop the MPX 1000. Yeah. <laughs> He's a baller. He's got an MPX 1000. Exactly. The 1000 Pro. Yeah, you need it because you're an amateur. Oh. Okay, buddy. Where did you come that that last thing? <laughs> Where did I come in that? DNF, okay. Idiot. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Like, fucking 20 years experience. Okay. Right? Kind of crazy. You know, Mr. Driving Sticks here for like fucking six weeks versus Mr. who's <laughs> been driving sticks for six years. True. Why is everyone a stick driver now? <laughs> <laughs> stick a fucking ass. Exactly. <laughs> Christ. I need medication adult, you guys. Funny thing is, I'm joking. You're gonna lie, I don't know who actually baby rages more, AP or Ninja. Wait, for what? In general? Oh, it's getting mean? spicy. Ninja, 100%. You say, you say the car shit, and then you say, like, oh, this car's this, this car's that, and then something else. You talk about something else. When? All the time, the demon. Well, yeah, because, well, I mean, that car kind of is. When I drove with them, he didn't say anything about it. It's kind of funny. I don't really, I I'll don't say AP, that often. You just like to remember the through. times that I do. And then Ninja's like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Shut the fuck up, Rad. Open up my cup, Goofy. 
One second, I need to go put people in their place. So if you want to go take a look at our catalog, uh, I'd very much appreciate it. I'll be right back. Or take a seat. Okay, I do not want to hear that. All this coming from you, Rat. Whenever something what? happens to you in a race, you will scream your fucking heart out on radio. People get upset and it happens. It's part case, of it. Don't fucking sit there and the play case, someone. If that was the case, I would scream at the end of this last race. I'm not gonna. Oh wait, I can't. There you go. The bumpers just don't like to bump out at all. She needs enough duct tape. Hello. Are the electronics? One employee you're talking smack to me, and the other one stole my carbon mirror. <laughs> what? I knew you were gonna say that. That's the thing, I actually knew that. So, May, you got anything you want to vent? No, I'm just defending it. Don't call if you, you know, everyone complains a bitch. No, I'm not about that. I said, no, is there anything you want to say? Mm, about what? Just anything. Not really. Dean, there's a spot on your foot. Who, hey, me or May? Dean. Oh, Dean. I can, I can at least hear him. You're Dean, dumbass. Oh, yeah. So you're telling me if oh, I wanted dear. to buy the M3, I'm just kidding, guys. I could. <laughs> Please jump. Right now. Dude, that's my name. Fuck. <laughs> Listen, sir, I'm just saying it's nice to have dreams. Why'd you make me look at the catalog? Now I got. Oh, now I'm all excited. Well, if you really want the car, I mean, you could save up for it and then buy it and deal with the SFPs well, the rest of your life and be depressed. What if I don't have to save up for it? What if I have to get really it? Then you have to go on an approval list, and yeah, you could get approved for the M3 if you really want it. People don't want to race. Hmm. I love that car. That's like one of my dream cars. I would. I love it. You guys sent you your bill. I mean, yeah, if you really want the car, go for it. And then, you know, ask I didn't these. even know you guys stocked them. Yeah, no, we have M3s. One second. Hey. Anyways, um, yeah, your car's good to go. I was about to write on the little okay. seat and everything. But yeah, you're good to go. Uh, enjoy your car. Okay, Be safe. Don't wreck you. it again. Or let someone wreck it again. And if they do, come back to 6 Star and I will repair it. Hell yeah. I appreciate you having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for, uh, yes. for helping me out. Have a great day. Your car should be good. Yo, tell, tell Goofy, if he shoots in the tuna shop, I'm suing him. He just put out a gun. I gotta know who shot you. I feel like you see him. He's wearing a mask. What if we all go against you and say What if we just nice ocean goof. dump you? Nice. Yeah. Voice him. Well, hey, I have a chip in my head, head which I can guys, send. You know, like... All right. Well, I guess I'm for your head then. It's our yeah. turf, so it can be a five v one. Are you real? Really, dude? Really? We got our guns really out. Really valuing you your life like that, man? I'm fucking Well, okay. This is. This is not cool. This is not cash money at all. This is not cash money at all. Okay, I'll get slide for that. May, you're gonna race. No. Why? I have to be mature and do things still. Gotta go check on the weed again. Oh, I didn't park this. Shit.
I'm actually going to be doing a spicy ramen tonight in this ramen place I actually really like. I was going to do a burrito bowl, but I'm kind of craving like ramen you now. I really like their broth. That's the big thing for me. I always get extra broth. Because I find myself slurping the broth more than I um, eat the noodles quickly. Because the spicy broth they make is very yummy. scary. Gonna refill on Great Ocean. Or not Great Ocean, on uh, Palmino. Damn. Okay, the good news is tomorrow doesn't have to be a May Day. It could be a Claire Day, which I'm looking more forward to. Trying to get all the grindy stuff out of the way, but it feels like it's what you have to do all the time. And doing it alone isn't fun either. <laughs> it's kind of sad. I feel really bad now making Jay all those times do this. Well, not making him, but when he did it. Yeah, it's basically you and me, chat. You and me in this buggy. In a dream. Yeah, we're doing cadet training on Saturday. And then we also have... Uh, we also have, what's it called? Claire Day tomorrow. And then I think I might take a day off to do some me stuff, aka Final Fantasy. A day where I don't get on RP. I want to go get Toby, but he's in the Alta Apartments. And I hate going to the Alta Apartments. There's such chaos there. It's like hard navigating it. Oh boy. Hey. So much fun. What are you doing? Going to check on the weed again. Weed. Yep. 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 Well, you guys go and do that that uh that racing thing. We told you to race. It's. I'm trying to get us back on our feet. Yeah, but you can just check that later. No, I can't! Because if someone takes it, we're fucked, Goofy! I mean... You, you're gonna be away from the plants anyway, so I mean... They How could, come I have to be the mom? <laughs> I'm 23, damn it, you, Goofy! Well... Don't question the logic. What logic? That I'm mature? <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that we still have a warehouse over our heads and a reason to have the warehouse. Yeah. The most illegal thing we do is drive cars at high speeds. <laughs> well. Yeah. You want to do that forever, huh, Goofy? Mm hmm You're content? You never want to know what if we could do a vault? What if we could do a Pluto again? What if we could do a bank? Ah, oh, you're just content. I have to do I'm everything. Content. I have to push you over that ledge every time. Yep. Goofy! <laughs> what? What do you mean, what? 
I'm out here by myself with, with fucking nobody. Toby's at home well, sleeping. Like, if I came along, like, It'd how can nice I help? I have someone to talk to, who? <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> um, nothing. Oh, you want nothing to I do with it? Okay. All right, Goof. Fine. Fine. I'll no, hang up the phone for you. I didn't no, it's fine. Adulting is hard. Claire has three kids, may have to get more, I guess. Yeah, may have to get some. Vagrant's cool, I guess. To rob his phone and dongle. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I like them. Off roading stuff is fun because you never get to really do it. Yeah, I wish I had Jesse for this. IDD is so much fun. On, please be done.
Maybe if we kill enough bunnies, we'll get a rocket bunny kit. Story time? Hmm. What is a good story? Hmm. Ah! I have a story for all of you. Do I ever have a story for all of you? One second. Yes, let me get those pores. Ah, yes, chat. Let me tell you of the spooky Wisconsin story. Named Yellow Ribbon. Jane wore a yellow ribbon round her neck every day. And I mean every day. Rain or shine, whether it matched her outfit or not. It annoyed her best friend Johnny after a while. He was her next door neighbor and had known Jane since he was three. When he was young, he had barely noticed the yellow ribbon. But now they were in high school together and it bothered him. Why do you wear that yellow ribbon around your neck, Jane? He'd ask her every day, but she wouldn't tell him. Still, in spite of this aggravation, Johnny thought she was cute. He asked her to the soda shop for an ice cream sundae. Then he asked her to watch him play, play in the football game. Then he started seeing her home. And came the spring, he asked her to the dance. Jane always said yes when he asked her out. And she always wore a yellow dress to match the ribbon around her neck. It finally occurred to Johnny that he and Jane were going steady. And he still didn't know why she wore a yellow ribbon around her neck. So he asked her about it yet again. And yet again, she did not tell him, maybe someday I'll tell you about it. She'd reply, someday someday that answer annoyed johnny but he shrugged it off because shane was so cute and fun to be with well time flew past as it has a habit of doing and one day johnny proposed to jane and was accepted they planned a big wedding and jane hinted that she might tell him about the yellow ribbon around her neck on their wedding day but somehow, but with the proportions and his er, preparations and his beautiful bride and the loving, lovely reception, Johnny never got around to asking Jane about it. And when he did remember, she got a bit teary-eyed and said, we are so happy together. What difference does it make? And Johnny decided she was right. Johnny and Jane raised a family of four with the usual ups and downs, laughters and tears. When their golden anniversary rolled around, Johnny once again asked Jane about the yellow ribbon around her neck. It was the first time he'd brought it up since the week after their wedding. Whenever their children asked him about it, he'd always hush them, and somehow none of the kids had dared to ask their mother. Jane gave Johnny a sad look and said, Johnny, you've waited this long. You can wait a while longer. And Johnny agreed. It was not until Jane was on her deathbed a year later that Johnny, seeing his last chance to play, 
asked Jane one final time about the yellow ribbon she wore around her neck. She took her head, she shook her head a bit at his persistence and then said with a sad smile, Okay, Johnny, you can go ahead and untie it. With shaking hands, Johnny fumbled for the knot and untied the yellow ribbon around his ne wife's neck and Jane's head fell off! Like the story chat. Is it good? That's the end of the story. That's it. Another one? You guys want another one? Is that good? All right, one second. <clears throat> this one is called the crystal. Yeah, let me make sure my <laughs> my ramen isn't nearby. I want to spook my fucking. Okay. <clears throat> there was a little girl who really loved dolls. She had a big collection of them in her bedroom. One day, while she was browsing through a shop on her own, she spotted a really beautiful doll. It would make a perfect addition to her collection. She only hoped she had enough money to buy it. How much is that doll, ma'am? She asked the old woman behind the counter. This doll is not for sale, replied the woman. But it's so beautiful, said the girl. I really want it. The old woman became, became irritated. I told you, it's not for sale, she said. Why not? persisted the girl. Because this doll is cursed. Well, that's okay. I don't mind. I'm not going to sell it to you. But if you really must have it, go ahead and take it. It's yours. But if something bad happens, don't blame me. Ah, yes, thank you, said the girl, smiling as she grabbed the doll and walked out of the shop. The little girl was so delighted to get the doll for free that she ran all the way home, carrying it in her arms. When she got home to her apartment building, she went into the lobby. It was deserted. She stood there, waiting for the elevator to arrive. The doors opened, and she stepped inside, clutching her doll very tightly. The doors closed, but the elevator did not move. The little girl got scared and began trembling with fear. It just says OMG. And it's like, why does it say just OMG? <laughs> Do I just say OMG? Like, <laughs> OMG, she thought to herself. Is this the curse of the doll? Suddenly, she felt the doll move in her arms. Ever so slowly, its head turned to face her. The little girl wanted to scream, but she couldn't make a sound. The doll's eyelids fluttered and opened. It stared at her with its lifeless glass eyes. Then its mouth opened and said, Push the button to go up, bitch! That's the end of the story. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I don't know. <laughs> Is that really how that one ends? <laughs> Push the button to go up, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, whoops. These are almost done. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get another one.
Hmm, this one wouldn't work. On my Halloween. This would be a good bit for Halloween. My OBS broke. Do we want another spooky story? Yeah. <clears throat> Tonight's story is Axe Murder Hollow. Susan and Ned were driving through a wooded, empty section of highway. Lightning flashed, thunder roared, the sky went dark, and the torrential downpour. Aaron. We'd better stop, said Susan. Oh, wait, no, wait, that was like my serious voice. Wait. We'd better stop, said Susan. Ned nodded his head in agreement. He stepped on the brake, and suddenly the car started to slide on the slick Sorry, pavement. It plunged off the road and slid to a halt at yeah, the bottom of an incline. Pale and shaking, Ned quickly turned to check if Susan was alright. When she nodded, Ned relaxed and looked through the rain-soaked windows. I'm going to see how bad it is, he told Susan when he went out into the storm. She saw his blurry figure in the headlight walking around the front of the car a moment later. He jumped in beside her, soaking wet. The car's not badly damaged, but we're in a wheel deep in mud. We're wheel deep in mud, he said. I'm going to have to call for help. Susan swallowed nervously. There would be no quick rescue here. He told her to turn off the headlights and lock the doors until he returned. Axe Murder Hollow. Although Ned hadn't said the name aloud, they both knew what, what he had been thinking when he told her to lock the car. This was the place where a man had once taken an axe and hacked his wife to death in a jealous rage over an alleged affair. Supposedly, the axe-wielding spirit of the husband continued to haunt this section of the road. Outside the car, Susan heard a shriek, a loud thump, and a strange gurgling noise. But she couldn't see anything in the darkness. Frightened, she shrank down into her, seat, into her seat. She sat in silence for a while, and then she noticed another sound. Bump, bump, bump. It was a soft sound, like something being blown by the wind. Suddenly, the car was illuminated by a bright light. An official sounding voice told her to get out of the car. Ned must have found a police officer. Susan unlocked the car and stepped out of the vehicle. As her eyes adjusted to the bright light, she saw it. Hanging by his feet from the tree next to the car was the dead body of Ned. His bloody throat had been cut so deeply that he was nearly decap decapitated. The wind swung his corpse back and forth so that it thumped against the tree. Bump, bump, bump. That's like really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. I think it's sort of like a thump sound, right? It's like <laughs> Susan screamed and ran toward the voice in the light. As she drew close, she realized the light was not coming from a flashlight. Standing there was a glowing figure of man with a smile on his face and a large, solid, and definitely real axe in his hands. She backed away from the glowing figure until she bumped into the car. <clears throat> Playing around when my back was churned, the ghost whispered, stroking the sharp blade of the axe with his fingers. You've been very naughty. The last thing she saw, she saw was the glint of the axe blade in the eerie, incandescent light. <laughs> of course, thank you for the 26 months. Holy shit, you and Megs are killers. Thank you so much. Isn't this one? Oh wait, I think they're up for harvest. Are they? Holy shit, time flies. 
Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Holy. Um, thank you for the six months. Welcome back to the Mooncakes. Karn, thank you for the eight months and welcome back to the Mooncakes. I appreciate you guys. Okay, well, they're almost done. Oh, that's when we harvest earlier now. All right, they're about done. They're about done. Ooh, are no sleep? Okay. All right, let's read something off that. Is the car moving? Oh, the car's moving. I think it's moving because of us. No, it's moving on its own free will. I did put the e-break up. Ignore it, chat. I think it's story time. One second. Um, can we do like the top of all time? Oh, this one's a long read though. Hmm. This one is a long read. We have about 10 minutes. That's when my ramen gets here. That's around when I'm going to end the stream. <clears throat> Let me get some water. <sighs> Every night, no matter the weather, something walks down our street whistling softly. You can only hear it if you're in the living room or in the kitchen when they walk by it. And it always starts at exactly 3.03. The sound starts faint somewhere near the beginning of the lane near the Carson place. We're towards the middle of the street, so the whistling moves past us before fading away in the direction of the cul-de-sac. When I was younger, my sister and I would sneak into the kitchen some nights, some nights to listen. Mom and Dad didn't like that, and we'd catch hell if they found us out there. But they were never too hard on us since we always stuck to the one big rule. Don't try to look at whatever it was whistling. My neighborhood is a funny place. I've lived here since I was six and I love it. The houses are small but well kept. Good sized yards, plenty of places to roam. There are a lot of other kids here my age. I turned 13 back in October. We grew up together and we would always play Foursquare in the cul-de-sac or roam around from black back porch to back porch in the summer. This was a good place to grow up. I'm old enough to see it. And there's only the two strange things here. The night whistling and the good luck. The whistling never bothered me much. Like I said, I couldn't even hear it from my bedroom. But mom and dad don't like us talking about it. So I've stopped asking my questions. My dad is a strong guy, tall and calm. He has an accent since he moved to the US as a kid. His family, my grandparents, they're from the islands. That's what they call it. My dad, the only time he isn't so calm if the whistler comes up. He talks a little quicker than eyes move faster. And he tells us not to think about it so much and to always remember the one rule, the big rule. Don't try to look outside when the whistler goes past. Not that we could look even if we wanted to. See, there are shutters on the inside of every window. Thick pieces of heavy canvas that you pull down from the top and latch to the bottom of the window frame. Even latch even has a small lock. Each latch even has a small lock. About the size of what you'd find on a diary. My dad locks those shutters every night before we all go to bed and keeps the key in his room. My mom, I don't know what she thinks about the whistling. 
I've seen her on the living room before at 3.03 when the sound starts. I could see her if I cracked my door open just an inch to peek. She's not out there often. At least I haven't caught her much, but once or twice a month I think she sits out there on her big red couch just listening. The whistler has the same tune every night. It's cheerful. Da da da, da da doom, da da da, da da doom. Remember how I said there were two odd things about where I live? Well, besides our night whistler, everyone in my neighborhood is really lucky. It's hard to explain, and Dad doesn't like us talking about it this part, this part much either. But good things just seem to happen to people around here a lot. Usually it's small things, winning a radio contest or getting an unexpected promotion at work, or finding some arrowheads buried in the yard, you know, the authentic kind. The weather is pretty good, and there's no crime, and everybody garden gardens bloom extra bright in the fall. A million little blessings, I've heard my mom say about living here. But the main reason we stay here, why we moved here in the first place, is my sister Nola. She was born very sick, something with her lungs. We couldn't even bring her home when she was born, only visit her in the hospital. She was so small, I remember. Small even compared to the other babies. A machine had to breathe for her. We moved into our house here to be closer to the hospital. As soon as we moved here, Nola started getting better. The doctors couldn't figure it out. They chalked it up to whatever they were doing, but all they could tell were they were confused. My parents knew, even I knew, Nola getting better was just another one of the million little blessings we got for living in our neighborhood. So that's why we stayed even after we found that out. For every small miracle that happens here every day, now and then some bad things happen. But they only happen if you look for the whistler. See, our neighborhood has a welcoming community. They show up with macaroni casserole and a gift basket and a manila... Uh, a man, manila... Ah, shit, I can't pronounce that word. A folder. <laughs> Whenever someone new moves in, they're very friendly. Four people showed up when we moved in seven years ago. The community made small talk, gave me a Snickers bar, and took turns holding Nola. It was their first week out of the hospital, so they were extra careful. It's like this word that's like man, manil, man, that, that word, that word, fucking, why is it my brain not work? Else. Manila, 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 Manila. Why didn't my brain just like fucking break on that? Oh my god, wait a minute, that's concerning. Maybe I'm dying on stream. Oh, Alright, well, Carly, I'm sorry, it's been a good run. I'll see how much more I have to read. Oh my god, chat, we might not be able to finish this. How many characters is this? Second. Another 14,000 characters. Fourteen thousand. That's a lot of characters. Then the community asked to speak to my parents in private, so I. S <laughs> I was sent to my room, where I still managed to hear nearly every word. The welcoming community told my parents about how nice the neighborhood was. Really exceptionally, hard to explain kind of nice. And then they told my parents that about the even harder to explain whistling that happened every morning at 3.03 and ended at the tick of 3.05 a.m. The group, our new neighbors, warned my parents that the whistling was quiet, would never harm or hurt us as long as we didn't look for what was making the sound. This part they stressed, and I pushed my ear into the door straining to hear them. People who went looking for the whistler had their luck changed, sometimes tragically. A black cloud would hang over everyone that looked. 
Anything that could go wrong would. Manila. Manila. Boulder. That's a humbling one. <laughs> Envelope the community had brought over contained newspaper clippings, stories about car crashes and ruined lives, public deaths and freak accidents. Not everyone dies. I heard the head of the community told my dad. But the life goes out of them. Even if they live, there's no light in them ever again. No presence. My mom, I could tell she wasn't taking it seriously. She kept asking if this is some prank they play on new neighbors. At one point, my mom got angry. Accused the community of trying to scare us out of our new home. Asked them if they were racist on the account of my dad being from the islands. My dad calmed her down. Told her he could tell our new neighbors were sincere. And they were just trying to help us. He explained that he grew up hearing these kind of stories from his mom and that he knew they were strange things that had that walked among us. Some of those strange things were good and some were bad, but most were just different. Yeah, we'll check the weed. Okay, a little bit more to go. And my stuff got delivered weirdly quick. Holy shit. All right, I'll be one second chat.
I'm to become an audiobook narrator? No. I just received word from Kari that my voice is attractive. I am I'm doxing her. I wish I could say that, she'll kill me. <laughs> she'll say it in private, but okay. <sighs> All right. Oh. Are they done? Are we done? That one is done. I think we'll read some more tomorrow. I just kind of like doing that. Maybe when it's slow on Claire, we'll do that. God damn. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. I might alter the growth a bit. Uh, female plants are not good ones. Yeah, speaking of Halloween content, you're you're the best Claire in Los Santos. We have a few it's Halloween a games we gotta do. I recall Resident Evil 7 was one of them. Message? I don't know if I hate myself enough for Visage. That game does look genuinely scary. I played it and it was hilarious. Like funny watching her scream or? Oh, Goofy. Yes, hello. Hey, just checking in. Mm. How are you doing? No, oh, you're checking in on me. Yeah. What, huh. What's happening? What are you doing right now? I'm waiting for the weed to grow. You know, so we can yeah. have weed to make money. Yep. Yeah. So. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Yeah, tomorrow you should, like, I kind of get it, how to do it, right? But just explain mm -hmm. to me, maybe I can do it as well when you're not around. Oh, you want to do it? You want to help out? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can do it discreetly. Not get caught. Not go back for the nines. Leave me alone. Hmm? Preferably not. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll teach you tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. So you don't want help? I don't get it. I'm saying maybe because you know, it might be a live PD kind of day. Hmm. By the way, I made 8k in 10 minutes. From racing? No, from gold chains. Oh. Uh, from, uh, treasure hunting. Yeah, treasure hunt. Huh. That's a lot of money, actually. That's a lot of money, actually. Wait, actually?
That would be pretty scary. Well, if you nail the wheelie... Mermaid, come. Ah, oh, come on, so close. Enough min maxing. We need a meeting. Why do hmm? we need a meeting? Why is Rack? No, I said for enough min maxing. Everyone what? is ERPing. What? No. That's what Rat said. Uh, either one. Are you guys European? I don't know anymore. Burn is so talented though. God, man. Burn is like a really good person to aspire to be like for RP. You're looking at an OniFans book? I did look at one. What the fuck, Goofy? Ah, uh, this is probably something. I'd be thank you for the 10 gifted, by the way. Well, you bubbled the fuck out of me. I appreciate me. you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your generosity, and I appreciate you and everyone that welcomed to the Nah, just keep going. That was gifted to some. Sorry. You're what happens to people at ERP. I'll mm. tell you guys a spooky horror story one of these days. I need a horror story for what your peers. I don't know, he's, he's like, it looks like he's about to do a, a local fucking classic and turn to the right to block me off. I adjust and then he turns back. It's, it's, yeah. Ah uh, yes, Goofy's on Copium. Hey Goofy. How mad does that local make you? Pretty mad. Tell me about it. No. Why not? That's how mad it made me. I'm not gonna tell you. Kinda not entertaining though.
That's really good spicy broth. Oh, it's almost done. I'm almost free. Once this weed is grown, you will never see me. For I will run away with little Hammy into the sunsets. Forever we will grow weed in the... I can't think of a rhyme shit. I still have my soy sauce egg and everything, so... Yep. Ooh, not a bad yield. Not a bad yield. Nah. That alien game was uh, decent. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like three player. Aliens, uh, Firestorm Elite or something like that. Is there cops on you guys? Fire team. I was asking if you have any cock. Any cock? Yes. Easy, you are in the ARP here. Oh my gosh. Oh, up here. Not bad, chat. I'm just saying, the yield is not bad. No, I was going to. I just didn't want to accidentally destroy another plant. Okay. Let's see our yield. Woo! Hmm. Tomorrow's the day, chap. Wait, that's so many males? Oh my god. Just got a big yield. Tomorrow is grow day. <gasps> Unless I don't live. Do you hear me? Well, I'm gonna wake up early enough to do it. What, May? Sorry. 
I had a good yield. What that mean? A lot of seed. Nice. If I wake up early. Oh. Sorry, if I wake up early, I'll be growing. Oh, nice one, dude. I wanna ride on the rail. This actually works. I hate that this works. Oh, no, it's not really working. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This might have been a mistake. I'm in the military base right now. Yeah. Yep, got. Wait, what? Oh, sorry, I forgot what I'm doing is not interesting to you, so. No, I was racing. Oh, you're racing. Wow, why is that not shocking? Yes, like that sometimes. You just race all the time. No, I'm talking to multiple I, people. I'm gonna I bash my work. head in. Oh, so talking to me makes me makes you want to bash? No, my head in. I'm just saying. You know, I can't do it. Do what? Talk to me? Talk to multiple people at the same time when doing stuff and multitasking and all that stuff. You can't. Pull up a peg on, like, mm. you, you, you do not grasp it. You really don't. So you're saying I'm not smart enough to grasp it? No, it's probably that you're you're so smart that you doesn't happen to you, therefore you can't understand it. So you're like, how? Like, why? But it's actually because you're not a pega enough. So it's a compliment. And that GTR really changed you. Shut the fuck up. Sus. Oh, make it, please. Uh... Oh, no. Nevermind. You can do that engine slot I showed you. See you around, brother. Oh, shit. Not wicked. It's radical.
Damn, this buggy be bussin'. Gee! Oh, shit. Now we have seeds for at least What's up? Oh look. Another race gone wrong? Like, yeah. Having a passenger in an S-Class car is fucking crazy. It's just tuner cars, I'm telling you. It's just fucking weird. You think so? The RX-7 felt great with a passenger. It's fucking, it used to. It, my car but... feels so slow and it's so slidey with the passenger. Awful. Huh. Yeah, I also I was fine, and then um, I tried to take a line to have a lot of momentum to catch Goof, but there was like four locals, and I chanced it, and just didn't work out. <laughs> Guess what? Uh, what? My last piece of my new computer is going to be here in like thirty minutes, and then I can build it. Thank God. You're like, thank God I don't have to deal with this shit during a race anymore. Exactly. <laughs> All right, good night. Um, for the, door. the most part, it's kind of safe, but mm, I don't know. It's not very safe as of late, just in general. What is it? Cops and racing. I mean, yeah, it's scarier than a vault. Who's motivating you? Get in. to hold it. <laughs> Didn't work. Didn't work. Fuck that guy. Who's giving you bad advice? You. Wait, fuck, where's my... No. It's at the... LSIA. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Who are you talking to, Goof? Kitty. Kitty, kitty, I was kitty. telling me who I was talking to. Where's Kitty? I don't want anything for it. She's with me in my car. Right? Yeah, where are you guys? Heading to Harmony Repair. She has her car there. I'll play a prank tomorrow. All right. You have fun crafting later. Who's never gonna crave it? Hmm. 
Has crafting been dead? Yeah. Of course, uh, next I've been. Or anyone, really. What? Next and everyone? Where have they been? I have so much fun driving this thing around. I don't know. Hmm, really? Yeah. Take it somewhere, Kitty? Uh, or are you busy? Okay. I was following you. Looks like we're not getting the shotgun tonight. Are you gonna take the dirt? Probably became busier, couldn't get the supplies, it's fine. I don't mind waiting, because they're still sitting on three to sell. Yeah, everyone in the group does a lot of trash running. Bumper and me learning, remembering how to throttle control. I remember chat. I haven't been racing as much to everyone. And I don't keep up with the stuff. So a lot of the skills I have when I first got the car kind of, you know, need to unrusting. I'm gonna put away these uh, seeds and then I'm gonna call it a night. Bam. Okay. Fuck. Oh my god. That. Yeah, chat, the stream got cut off and it got cut in half. Twice now? Once? <laughs> it wasn't much. Follow me. Oh, thank God. Look at that, chat. Slowly but surely. Back in business. Oh, I have ramen. Never mind. Uh, Claire, um, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I want some me time, and I want to go spend some time with my girlfriend. Put some me time. I'm gonna enjoy my ramen, and then uh, I will be back tomorrow for Claire. And then hopefully, not any grinding. We. This is a common nightfall thing. We do this a lot. All right. Well, Goof, uh, I will leave you on your date with Kitty. I'm gonna go sleep as well. With Kitty? No. Oh, good job, champ. What? You know, it's funny, she said something earlier. She said something about you being cute. Really? 
why would I tell you anything else I may know? Because honestly, you wouldn't want Oh my. Yep. Hmm. No, that's all she said. Have fun. You yeah, can sit there yeah. and lie and wait and whatever just... that may think or mean or whatever. Well, she just rammed me. Already at first pace? Nice. What? <laughs> All right. Good night. Yeah, good night. Take care. <laughs> uh, yeah, good night. Love you. Yep. Love you too. Bye. Have fun with your ego juice and your pegging. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he answered that. She didn't know what that meant. All right. I'm going to let you guys go into the void. I'm ending stream. It was a spooky time. It was the most spooky of streams. We have to do Claire. We have to do RE7 one of these nights. So I can at least say I'd beat a horror game in the month of October. Other than Demon's Souls. We were playing Demon's Souls. But good night. We will continue our story tomorrow. I am bookmarking it officially, chat. I'm doing it right now. All right. Good night, guys. I love you. Void time. I will leave you guys in the spooky music. Love you. <laughs>